Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, if you remember, we left off all my resources being spent by the, stay sta the space station to call in a Jem'Hadar fleet. Which I suppose is probably a, de a good thing, but that kind of ruined the plan. It was completely unexpected. And what we've got to do with all our new ships is deal with that lag spike. Alright, they are. Nobody's really moving, we're just Boom, boom. Alright. So, I, I, I suppose the Gemhar fleet is kind of a good thing. It's quite on shit exploding everywhere. We got this little guy. Snook Jeff class. Thinks he can do something. Now, I believe because of how the AI works, they're going to keep attempting to blow up my home base. They're not going to really attempt. Um, what is it? Oh, they're, they're attacking my home base. They're gonna just keep attempting to uh, fight me. Are these the Manticores? I don't know what these do. I don't know what their position in the fleet is or anything. All right, so we just got more and more. Cl Jesus. Oh boy. Alright. I don't want to, but there's an upgrade I really need to do, and that is hangar capacity. Doing it. How much the manticores? Here they are. Support vessel. Alright. Takes up six ply. Oh, that's not bad at all. We just, they keep sending in these little clusters of fighters, and that really bothers me. Alright, so they're coming in. Only one capital ship at a time, thankfully. Scarab classes don't look like they're built for this. The IK has some furnace, not gonna know it hit it. There, possibly. All right, I'm not a fan of this frame rate, but that what that's what happens as you get later and later in uh, um, Sins of Solar Empire, especially with this mod. Um, oh God, who's that? Uh, Martok. I really do hate fighting General Martok. All right, now hopefully these are all gonna finish in a minute. There we go. Now I have my fighter squadrons, which are dead. Oh, that's not nice. I just, these little, what are they, these st st what is this ship, these stupid little um, fighters are just picking off my scarab classes and I don't like that at all. Do I have any anti-fighter ships? Yeah, this is what it is. Ugh. Not very expensive.
take a look. These are our fighters. Not bad. Looks like I'm in an intense fighter fight. I just have no idea where the other bombers are. Alright, so here comes Martok, Minion Face. The bane of my Cardassian existence, General Martok himself. What is that? Martok? Oh my god! Such a powerful power for uh, Pito. Well, at least his shields are down, almost. That poor Gaylor class. Oh, at least I took care of those stupid fighters. Or so I thought. And this is dead. And I got my set classes, which are anti-freighter or anti-fighters. You can see sniping those guys. I'm going to lower the volume here. I've got, what is this? And he's not dead yet, but he should be. Well, another ca Klingon capital ship is coming in. Piece of crap. Well, now we're starting to lose scarab classes, which is never a good thing. All right, now this should get us through. I'm going to increase speed here. I just saw a bunch of little explosions. And I want to say it's my fleet that's doing the exploding. I'm not a fan of that. Is that another gable over here? I don't know, maybe. It's just these stupid Klingon, like. Oh, 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 Jesus. I don't have much of a choice at this point. We gotta get these reinforcements up. Get okay, this General Markov down. I don't have many Gem Hadar ships left. Which sucks. Give that class off the side. And so does this Katinga. And so does that Katinga. Oh no, that Katinga's dead. And the Klingons are sending more and more ships, just little Katingas. Not a problem. The stations uh, nearly lost their shields. means I should probably rush. I need to rush this out. See, I'm not so worried about that assault going bad for us. I don't want to lose the space station too, because if I lose it, it's all over. Just like another General Martok though, and we're not looking so good anymore. Standing by. Hostile fleet has arrived. Prepare the docking base. Uh, 
I swear to God. Okay, that's Kern. None of these are really too scary, except for the IKS something Eviscerator. I don't know what that means. Yes, we'll watch this go down. Their shields are already just about dead. For them, there's Kern, I think. One of these is. I don't know which one. It's not this one. This is a. Alright. The station has lost its shields, so. Mm, let's see. I really don't feel like upgrading the station. Just because I'm so close. Oh my god, we are really close. Oh boy. Die, I can't set a straighter die. As long as that's not General Martok warping in, then I'll be happy. Seriously, well, how, I don't understand how he'd still be a Klingon general if he's failed to capture a simple Cardassian station so many times. But whatever, logic. He won't be a problem anymore in a minute. Is this current ship? I'm gonna say it is. Just because yeah, I saw him working out. We got all this going on. This continue. Not this continue. This Quebec is going down. Q Q. <laughs> Guys, here we go. Oh. Oh. Well. Well then, game. How much do we need? Oh. Yes. Oh, look at that, baby. Alright, now you're going to take absolutely forever to complete. So we're going to go back here and uh, pretend everything's going smooth. Really, we just need 10 million new Galo classes. Probably once we get the Dreadnought, we can just have the Dreadnought run around and just kill off these guys who are bombing the planet because we could probably go with uh, some work to that beast. We could also go with a little less General Martok, but I don't always get what I ask for. Squadron reporting, Captain. Now let's get these goddamn squadrons to intercept that guy. Alright. Some simple Brel classes, not a problem. How far is the construction on this? Uh, 2%. Uh, maybe. Maybe 5 or 10. Anyway, nowhere near. It's going to build nowhere near fast enough. Alright, there we see our fighters uh, attacking other fighters. And um, there's a Klingon uh, fleet that has mobilized itself right by the IKS Scythe, which is a meanie face ship, as you can see. And I think the goal here is that we're not supposed to survive this attack, but we're Cardassians, and kind of surviving is kind of what we do. So we're going to survive and make everybody angry, hopefully. Now the big... Whoa. Oh boy, oh boy. Dagger Squad. Squadron reporting, Captain. Moving to intercept. Moving to intercept. That's your goal. Moving to intercept. 
a Borel class is under attack by the Cardassian Gaylors, or not the Gaylors, by the station. Alright, as you can see, we're currently engaging them in uh, ship ship combat. Space stations uh, suppressing the fu laying suppressing fire. Frankly, I don't care about these ships surviving. It's the space station that matters. Now, we did just complete our brand new Gaylor class, which is fantastic. since we just lost another Gaylord class. Now we're gonna, we're gonna start the construction of another one. Just frankly, just because we can. So, guys, it's the IK... Okay, I changed my mind. Stop. Hammer time. We started moving away from the station. You guys can move back over there. Because it's nice and safe over there. Alright, so let's go take a look. How's our Dreadnought doing? This is the guy that matters. He's gonna save us. There we go. The Dreadnought isn't really doing anything. Now, hostile forces are approaching, and to me, that usually means General Martok is here to screw us over. But that's not the case, it looks like. Alright, so there you see a bunch of Klingon ships exploding. I, seriously, I would, wouldn't even... If I knew that the Cardass... If the Cardassians had a defense like this, and my first initial assault failed, instead of sending little assaults against it, I would build up and reroute my entire fleet. Because if that's what the Cardassians did, and uh, not the Cardassians, the Klingons, if they just organized and sent an entire fleet invasion, then these guys would be gone. Almost immediately. But that's not how the AI sees the situation. Great, we got more hostiles inbound. Thankfully it's no General Martok. Now I am going to, um, how much resources do we need for this? Alright, I am going to start um, developing a defensive overhaul and perhaps a weapons upgrade as well. Oh, we have a weapons upgrade. So we'd like, I'd like a defense system complete overhaul on this space station. Alright, we're still fighting our bombers, it looks like. Now see, that's not a problem. And you come over here and you look at this beauty, and you're like, wow, that's almost done. And I'm like, yeah, it is. Isn't it beautiful? And you're just like, yeah. And the Klingons see it and they're like, nope, 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 nope. That's what I would do if I was a Klingon. I would just run. There's glory in running from this beast. Honor, glory. You got it, Klingons. We got you covered. Alright, so here we see our Gaylor classes, all like, hey, Gaylor class, number one class. And here we see, um, Cardassian, um, Givet classes, and they're like, hey, Gaylors, you know what? You guys, um, you, you guys are gonna die. Alright? And then the Gaylor classes are just like, we're Gaylor classes, bro. You're not gonna make it. You're dead. You are so dead. And then the, the Gaylor classes are just like, say hello to my little friend. And then Jaranor's like, hey guys, what's up? Jaranor here with a brand new volley of photon torpedoes. Here we have the Raptor classes and these classes. And see, see, there's Jaranor delivering its greeting and then it starts opening fire and then all of a sudden every Gaylord class sitting next to Jaranor decides to open fire which immediately cripples the shields of the Kvet class lowering it and leaving it 
completely vulnerable to Cardassian assault, where it does get assaulted by the Cardassians and ends up dying miserably. The end. See? That was pretty right, I think. Alright, come on. See, there we go. You guys just saw that Quebec die. Dun, da da dun dun. Da 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 da. Look, it's just that. That's all that's left. Serving the founders. What? Um, hmm. And let's add experimental weaponry, but what? Prepare to enter war. What is your wish? Prepare to enter war. They're just so casual. How much antimatter do we have on this beast? 300. Alright. Now the Klingons are just like, la 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 la, everything's going fine. And then the Jem'Hadar are like, what's up? We have one of these in the... Oh, is this an actual... I wonder if this is a ship from Deep Space Nine. It's not... This, not, not... Imagine if this was defending the space station. Nobody would attack them. But, um, no. I, think, I wonder if this is a Dominion ship from DS9 or if they had to make it themselves. What is this? Tiddler class. Alright. And the shields of Jaranor aren't the, in the best condition of conditions, but you know, stuff happens sometimes. See, and now, General Martok is nowhere to be seen. You know why? It's because we scared off General Martok. Oh boy, I, did I spoke, speak too soon? Yes. Here comes General Martok, guys. A worthy opponent for our brand new ship. Frankly, the only opponent that the Klingons can throw on me who's worthy of even being attacked. Now, how long have we been going at this? Let's go take a look. Sorry, guys. I just, I don't want to keep the episodes absolutely forever. Wow. Okay. General Martok is here, guys, with the iCast Conqueror. They keep giving him new ships, thinking that he's going to be able to do things. Why? Because they're stupid, maybe? It's starting to look more and more like that is the case. Now, thanks to our brand new handy-dandy money that we have lying around for some reason, we have our very own... Galor class, new, brand new Galor class fleet coming in. Isn't that great, guys? Yeah. Yeah, Liam, that is great. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay. Alright. Oh, snap. Oh, no. Why don't you have squadrons? Oh. Come on. Nikezeron. I, oh, I want to see the firepower on this baby. Alright, guys. Let's toggle. Modes. Now, looking from Jaranor, what do we see? A Klingon fleet is staring at me. Let's take Jaranor and send him over here. Now what is that? Oh, the poor Nukja class. Nukja. Now here we can see, you guys can just see him. Oh, or not. There were fighter squadrons. See my Galore classes sitting there, waiting in anticipation for the impending. Here comes the Klingons. Now we've attracted the, now, the Klingons have attracted the attention of our 
thingy or whatever, but this is the ship that counts. This is what we're watching. This is who we're waiting to see dead. So far, he has not attacked the Gaylords. Or, so far, it's still kind of just a party right now. Martok hasn't really done, uh, received that much damage. I do just want to kind of take a look here. Our Dreadnought's barely taken any damage. I see green. That must be cling on fire. Oh, uh, they sent in the IKS Deathwind on this assault as well. That must be where all the fire's going. The IKS Deathwind is just completely destroyed at this point. Um, plus, we leveled up our beast again, which is just great. Now, I don't know what that ability did. Whatever it did, um, hope I thought it would just call in a second one of these, but that looks like it's not the case. The Will of the Founders. Maybe. What's this do? Fires a massive phase Polaron lance. Sure, why not? And let's uh, let me do this. Right, and we're firing a massive phase Polaron lance, which just immediately destroyed the ship that it was attacking. <coughs> now our Dreadnought has leveled up again. Which is incredible. <clears throat> now we'd like to upgrade the founders, and we'd like to upgrade the world of the founders. Which will give our ships a buff. Because they're wor doing the will of the founders. And we're going to end that here, guys. If you enjoyed this episode of the beginning of our long comeback, then don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. And uh, this is the Finko 11 signing out, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.